Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friends, you are welcome to the Sunday evening prayer once again. We are gathered from different parts of the world. So last week we were celebrating the Pentecost. Today we are going to grow in the spirit. We have to ask Lord how we have to grow in spirit. What we have to do to grow in spirit. So today we take how Paul has been preached to Corinthians. What made them the difference. So before that we are going to uh, do worship our Lord. Abel is with us to help us in praise and worship. Abel, over to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let's thank God for bringing us here today. As it says in Psalms 55, 22, give all your burdens to the Lord and he will take complete care of you. That's how good and loving our God is. He is there when in our ups and downs. He loves us so much. So in this praise and worship, it's all about giving our sufferings and burdens to the Lord. So feel free to sing this song. I surrender, Lord. I surrender everything to you. My friends, my family, my job, my work, my studies. Lord, I give everything to you. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know you. I want to know you. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know you. I want to know you. I surrender. Drench my soul as mercy and grace. I'm full a hunger and thirst. A hunger and thirst. With arms stretched wide, I know you hear my cry. I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I surrender, I surrender, I want to know you, I want to know you, I surrender, I surrender. My dear friends, surrender everything before Lord. Whatever we have, whatever we got, surrender before Lord and sing along with Abel. I, I surrender, Lord. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know you. I want to know you. I surrender. surrender your life, surrender your problems, surrender your anxiousness, surrender your thoughts, surrender your plans, surrender everything before Lord Jesus Christ. 
and we let us feel that freedom in our life let us sing once again as the dear friends someone who are surrendering at the moment with their life before lord lord is they could feel some of the emotional feelings like something is falling on top of them they feel an ice or cold experience on their body lord jesus we are praying for those who are surrendering their life surrendering their their anxiousness surrendering surrendering their problems surrendering their sickness lord jesus let them help them to experience that freedom on their mind body and soul lord i am praying for those who are those who are honestly surrendering themselves before lord surrendering their families surrendering their their workplace surrendering their issues and surrendering their situations and they could experience the love of christ and i surrender once again let us sing i surrender lord entails myself entirely to you i surrender myself person who is attending this program who has a um, a, a finger has been lost in, in the past or something happened or some kind of serious injury for the fingers and that has been a partially removed or something like that lord is a healing that person from their memories and also some kind of physical healings also lord is granting for that family and we are praying for that person lord help that person help that person and their family we are praying for in the mighty name of jesus we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray lord is uh, uh, lord is, sub- or is supporting lord is actually uh, intervening in one family's prayer for their uh, uh, children who are uh, or grandchildren who are university uh, level studies or going far away from the parents because of their studies lord is involving in their issues and sorting out the issues and and the lord is helping that family and we are going to pray for that family in the mighty name of jesus we are praying for these two prayer requests lord help them lord strengthen them lord by the power and merits of jesus we are praying in jesus name we trust in jesus name we trust lord we they are surrendering their prayer request before you lord grant it according to the will of god in jesus name we are praying lord in jesus name we pray i surrender let us surrender entire self let us surrender entire self before you lord we surrender everything there is power lord there is deliverance in your name lord so we surrender everything in your name lord i surrender i surrender family has been uh, uh, lost to the connection with the rest of the family members or a family member is uh, not keeping a connection with you 
or uh, something like that lord is intervening in that family matters and uh, he is actually helping with the grace of holy spirit to bring back that family member or the, the family has been uh, uh, separated lord is bringing that family member back and uh, they will they will have a good 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 dinner or something they are eating together uh, that is actually a sign of uh, you know that the peace among them lord we are praying for all the family members who are separated from the families with regards to it it may be because of any reasons some of them they know some of them they don't know what they are behaving so lord jesus we are praying for all these people now in jesus name we pray separations in the family comparisons in the family jealousy between siblings in jesus name we pray lord deliver your people from your from these problems lord in the name in the name of jesus we pray in the mighty name of jesus we pray in jesus name we pray my dear friends surrender your family and the family members before lord if you are struggling anything in your workplace surrender your workplace before lord and ask lord to come and help me in this area i surrender i surrender everything before you lord let us sing once again i surrender i surrender i surrender I want to know you more. I want to know you more. I surrender. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord. I surrender. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. My dear friends now we're going to entering into the word of God session then after that we will come back to the healing prayer again. So today's word of God section I took it from Acts 17:21. Here actually it's a, it's this word of God Paul is actually you know have some experience in when he preached in Athens. Okay? So now all the Athenians and the foreigners living there would spend their time in nothing but telling or hearing something new. And dear friends, this might be a problem if you are a leader, if you are a priest, or if you are a person who are doing a prayer group leading or something like that. What I have to say, or looking for a new thing always. So something to something to uh, you know to to make the interest uh, to make. The, your listeners interesting my dear friends let us see how paul was preached in uh, in athens paul was you know paul was using his uh, very much uh, intellectual way because he he was uh, feeling that uh, some kind of feelings when he was uh, you know coming in the uh, greeks rather than other places he felt that oh, they are very very much uh, you know uh, logical people or something like that so he felt some kind of inferior thoughts or something like that i don't know but anyway some kind of feeling that paul was going through that time so paul was up to be taking a different approach in uh, athens than other places so when he so so here it is saying in acts 17 word 16 to 34 like this so they took him and brought him into the areopagus and asked him may we know what uh, is the new teaching in that you are presenting my dear friends before this paul was walking through the streets of there and looking for an opportunity to preach and he was try, uh, trying to start something to tell them they said no 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 this is not the place okay let us go to there and let us preach from there okay areopus is a place where they were gathered and uh, preaching right so paul was looking left and right and paul was saying it in a different philosophical way okay and very 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 much you know uh, in a uh, you know listener friendly way right athenians i see how extremely religious you are in every way for as i went through the city and i looked carefully at the objects of your worship i found among them an altar with a inscription to an unknown god and he said i am going to preach about that so my dear friends here paul is actually trying to prove to to you know comfort them 
trying to make them to listen them uh, trying to make them to be listen him so my dear friends here paul couldn't do much and uh, paul was saying in different ways and uh, different uh, you know philosophical way blah 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 but nothing happened not much he could uh, he could do there and that is why he was saying that all the Athenians and foreigners living there would spend their time in nothing, just listening to the new thing. My dear friends, if you are a leader in your prayer group or if you are a leader in, in doing something or preparing some word of God for the people or you are doing some word of, preparing some word of God for your family, of course we are preparing the food for the family. The same way as a parent, you need to prepare the word of God also for your family. When you prepare nothing new, we have to say about the old thing. And uh, let us see what happened to Paul after this place. So he was so much, you know, um, a different a different mood when he go out of the Athenians and uh, uh, going to a place called the Corinthians. If you go to Acts of Apostles chapter 18, you can see that he, he immediately after this, he is Athens, he was going to Corinthians. Here, um, here Paul was saying in a, in a, uh, different, uh, very much uh, philosophically and logically were preaching to them, but not much disciples or not much uh, you know, wonders or anything happened there. So if you want to see the wonders and uh, miracles and uh, the healings of Holy Spirit or the works of Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, we need to do something. We need to preach something else. That is what Paul learned from this missionary life of visiting Corinthians. And when he is writing the letter to Corinthians, he was mentioning that. So he, I took it from the first Corinthians chapter two, verse one to five. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God in the lofty words for wisdom, because I used it. It means that I used it in, uh, in, uh, in heavens, but I couldn't be, do anything there. And uh, and I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. So Paul preached them about Jesus Christ. And the Corinthians became very much, uh, very much, you know, useful, very much used with the gifts of Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were started to use the gifts of Holy Spirit. This is a difference for your audience. If you are preaching Jesus Christ, the crucified, the resurrected, seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again to judge the living and the dead, who is incarnated from the Virgin Mary. So my dear friends, if you are preaching, preaching about Jesus Christ, how Jesus Christ is said in, a, uh, in the Apostles' Creed, take one or two from there and to try to try to preach that. Then you will see there is miracles in the name of Jesus. And there you will see the, the wonders of the in the happening in the name of Jesus Christ. So my dear friends, Paul, what Paul did is Paul preached about the, the why Jesus was crucified and what is happening in your body, mind and soul because of the crucifixion, resurrection and uh, 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 ascension of Jesus Christ. What is happening in you? So my dear friends, and uh, Paul is continuing. I came to you in weakness. And my fear and trembling. Are you? Are you a leader? Are you a person who is leading the community or group? And are you worried about your weakness? Are you worried about your fear? Are you worried about your tremblingness? Don't worry. Please start to preach about Jesus Christ, who is incarnated from the Virgin Mary, and who is died on the cross, who is resurrected from the dead. Speak about his passion, death, and the resurrection. See at the right hand of the Father, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. So speak something about Jesus in such a way. The importance of the name of Jesus and the G and how much deeply we are connected with Jesus through his passion, death, and resurrection. We just need the faith and to believe in his salvation. And then we will see our weakness become our strength, our fear become our courage, and our tremblingness will be our. Uh, will be later become the leadingness. So my dear friends, this much difference is happening. My speech and my proclamation were not close, plausible words of wisdom, but with the demonstration of the spirit and power 
how is it be possible because the scripture the word of god i spoke to you are the life and spirit or the life giving spirit is within the word of god the name jesus and the word of god is jesus christ so my dear friends preach the word of god rather than finding a new story or new uh, philosophy or trying to something new to make them thinking rather than helping them to understand the faith in deep so here the athenians and all the foreigners there were looking for interested in new things you may think we may think that okay our listeners are every day every sunday coming they wanted to listen new things there is here it is nothing new only one thing is that jesus is the answer for the problems jesus christ is the messiah and he is the only answer he lives in the word of god and in the eucharist so this is the only answer this person is the only answer for you and me and as a leader sometimes we may have a tendency to look for a new thing new thing to preach for your audience so my dear friends preach and the word of god and the spirit of and the power of god will work through you and so that your faith might set on not on the human human wisdom but on the power of god why the people in this time the christians in this time why they are more focused on focusing on human wisdom rather than focusing on the power of god because they are not preaching jesus christ they are not keeping up jesus christ of course they are breaking the bread and trying to break the word of god but they are not focusing on the one who lives in both jesus christ so my dear friends the answer is one person problems are different financial problems the problems in the family problems in the uh, in the memories and healings problems in the body problems in different places problems in the country problems in the city or problems in in the neighborhood everywhere but the answer is only one person his name is jesus problems might be different but the answer is only one person his name is jesus so my dear friends i encourage you to understand more about jesus and to go in the depth of the word of god and to proclaiming the word of god through your mouth especially jesus christ the crucified one and let us see how paul was preaching to the corinthians in that way when first corinthians chapter 1 says like this if you look on the words 23 verse 23 on screen you can see but we proclaim crucified christ a stumbling block to jews and a foolishness to the gentiles so my dear friends greeks looking for signs sorry greeks looking for the wisdom and the jews looking for the signs but we are preaching about the foolishness the foolishness of the proclamation let us see what is for since in the wisdom of god war did not know god through the wisdom so god decided through the foolishness of the proclamation to so save those who believe so my dear friends what is the foolishness of the uh, what is the foolishness uh, of the the uh, proclamation or what is the wisdom of god the wisdom of god is the foolishness of the proclamation of god the proclamation of word of god the proclamation of the word of god is this 2000 years ago son of man son of god came into this world took all our sins and iniquities on our shoulder on his shoulder and he died on the cross he resurrected from the dead and he is even at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead and you and me are free from adam till the person who is about to come at the at the end of the world is everybody is free those who are turning to christ this is the biggest foolishness in the history of mankind so this foolishness is the wisdom of god this is the reality and the, this is the wisdom of god happened and happening on every altar and in every breaking of word of god and the breaking of the the bread so my dear friends let us come back to this person his name is jesus and for jews demand the signs and greeks desire wisdom but there is nothing no answer for that of course there is signs in it there are this speech there are signs of course there are wisdom in it those who are listening it it listened in their in their speech of god's wisdom they are listening it that's not the wisdom of this world but for the but the wisdom of god 
So my dear friends, but to those who are called, it doesn't matter whether Jew, Greeks, Gentiles, uh, any, any, any country or nation, religious person or non-religious, atheist or believer or non-believer, any religion you believe, anyone who, who turned to Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So my dear friends, anyone who turned to Christ and that person will become or turning into to live in Jesus Christ and that person himself will be another Christ and he will preach, he will do the work of Christ in this world, heal the sick, cast out the demons, raise the dead and cleanse the lepers and many more by the name of Jesus. My dear friends, this is the wisdom of God. This foolishness, so we need to believe that foolishness of the gospel that is the wisdom of God. So for, for 25th word of God is saying, for God's foolishness is, is wiser than human wisdom. That is the thing. God's foolishness is wise than the human wisdom. Yes, of course. This is why God's foolishness, it is called God's foolishness. And it is why it is wiser than the wisdom. It is, it is, it is hidden for a person who is sometimes trying to just uh, you know, looking that way. So when he turns into, uh, into, into Jesus, or when he finds that jump, he will sell out all his possessions and try to buy that land exactly like this land, the kingdom of God is a person is open for a person, but is is hidden for a person, but it will be open for those who are specifically looking for Jesus Christ in the Word of God and in the Eucharist. And God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Amen. Let us come back to the this breaking of this uh, understanding of the Word of God by friends. Close your eyes, put the hands on your chest and make sure that you are always saying about your audience, your friends, about Jesus Christ, the son of living God. And dear friends, he is the son of living God. He is the Messiah. He is the only answer for our prayers. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the healer. He is the comforter. He is the only person whom can deliver us from our iniquities and uh, uh, troubles. And he can deliver us from all the evils. Let us ask Lord, Lord Jesus, come and help us, Lord. Uh, we believe that you are with us always through the word of God and in Eucharist. And you said, two or three gathered in my name, I will be in the midst. And we believe that whether we are gathered in Zoom, YouTube or Facebook or wherever, on WhatsApp or phone, or, or computer or television, wherever we are gathered now, you are in our midst because two or three gathered in my name, I will be in the midst. You are present in my room and I could feel that experience on these gadgets, your presence through the listening of this word of God. Lord Jesus, I am praying for the healings and wonders for the listeners. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Be healed from your sickness and uh, bondages. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. My dear listeners, please keep on say Jesus, 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 while Abel is singing a song, keep on call his name, Jesus, Jesus, in your own language. Thank you, Jesus. Living waters flow on. Jesus. Sweep away my pain. My Jesus. Bring your healing to my heart. My Jesus. Give me love once again. My Jesus. Waters flow on. My Jesus. Sweep away my pain. My Jesus. Bring your healing to my heart. My Jesus. Give me love once again. My Jesus. My Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I am praying for all those who are struggling of depression and anxiety. Deliver your people right now. And hear your people right now. My dear friends, now we are going to pray for those who are, I mean, those prayer requests that are typing or typed in YouTube at this on these days. 
Lord Jesus, we are praying for all those who are typing their prayer requests right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Be healed and be delivered in the name of Jesus. While, while Evelyn is singing those, uh, that chorus once again, we are praying for uh, the outpouring of Holy Spirit on these prayer requests. Living water. Living waters flow on. In Jesus' name we pray. Sweep away my pain. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring your healing to my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Help me love once again. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord Jesus, we are praying for all these prayer requests. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us ask the intercession of our lady. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray Holy for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. So my dear friends, we are seeing, we'll meet again on next Sunday, the same place, the same time. Share the links with your friends and families. Thank you. Good night.